Today we're talking about my top 10 Christmas gift ideas for the aviator or aviatrix in your life. I know, we can be tough to shop for. Now for everything on this list, I'll make sure to have a link down in the description below for you. All right, the first thing I have for you is a heated vest, just like this guy right here. Yep, there's the heat coming in, that feels great. I was never really in the vest, but I really began to appreciate them after I started flying. It's really nice to have all this warmth right here on your core without having all the extra bulk in your sleeves. The typical general aviation airplane can be a pretty cramped place, and then you start adding all the extra bulk. This is the Fox Ellie heated vest. There's heating elements here on the front, back here on the back, and one of my personal favorites, something I think it sets it out from others, it's actually got a heating element right here on the neck. I want to tell you, that feels great. <laughs> Now you may not be aware of this, but most heaters in general aviation airplanes actually get their heat from the surface of the exhaust manifolds. And this is a simple way to do it. Now the problem is if a crack develops in that exhaust and then you have carbon monoxide working its way into the cabin. And that could be very dangerous and even deadly. Now when I was still renting airplanes, I didn't always trust the integrity of the heat systems in there. So I typically just bulked up with gloves or some kind of vest. But I gotta tell you, this one takes the cake. I really love having the heated option for flying, but I honestly wear it for a lot of other things. Whether it be hunting, hiking, camping, anything. My second gift idea is some kind of headlamp. Now I love flying at night. Nice calm air, not many people out, and lights on the ground are great. Now a headlamp is great because you just throw it on and both your hands are free to do whatever else you need to do in the cockpit. And I've used multiple brands over the years, but I'm currently digging this. Yep, it's another Fox LA brand. And this has both white light for doing pre and post inspection and red LEDs to preserve your night vision during the flight. This particular one has a rechargeable battery, so you can just plug it in and recharge in between flights. Now, full transparency, this one was given to me by Fox Alley after doing a review on the heated vest. So thank you guys. I won't do a night flight without at least one kind of headlamp, but I typically have a backup too. Two is one, one is none. Next up on our list for number three is some kind of action camera to help record all those flights that they're doing, whether they be training or seasoned pilots. Now I'm personally using the GoPro Hero 8, which is this guy right down here. GoPro did just come out with the Hero 9, but honestly, for how much capability the 8 has and all its features, I just don't see the point of stepping up to a 9 just yet. Now if the person you're giving this to is really concerned about having a front-facing screen, then yes, you could go to a 9, but you're talking about a $100 difference. So instead of spending the extra $100, what I do recommend is this guy right here. See this little vlogging mirror? This is about 20 bucks. If I'm, if I'm at the airport and I'm vlogging or if, somewhere, if I'm traveling somewhere else, I can hold this up and as I'm looking at the lens, this mirror back here, I can see the back screen. So that's twofold. One, you're saving money and you're also not draining the battery faster with having an extra screen. Now the 8's currently selling for about $300, but if money is a concern, you can still easily buy the 7. The 7's plenty of capability for most people. I really don't think you can go wrong. The big difference is the 8 has built-in mounting tabs on the bottom, so no need for extra cages, whereas the 7 has to have some kind of frame to put the camera in. And since we're talking about GoPros, that brings us to number 4. Rather than just placing it in the cockpit, how about having a unique angle from outside the airplane somewhere? Now I'm currently using this version that uses a ram arm and a cam lock, and mounts to one of the tie-down loops. It's very solid and sturdy and works well for my needs. But there's plenty of options out there and I'll put a few links in the description below. Number five allows us to take that GoPro footage to the next level. Let's give it some throttle. 1500. Recording cockpit audio. If you choose to have a GoPro inside the cockpit, there's multiple cables and adapters that allow you to record on the GoPro itself, or you can do what I'm doing and save some money too. Using this one with a 3.5 millimeter input, you can record directly to your phone or to another audio recording device without having to buy the expensive adapters. Now I've got a couple after this that are going to require an iPad or a tablet of some kind to be able to use. In this case, number six will be an iPad mini. I've used multiple different tablets over the years flying, but I've always come back to the iPad for its ease of use and the right size. And my personal favorite is the iPad mini. For me, it's the perfect size to fit in the cockpits of most general aviation aircraft. I can say hands down that flying with an iPad has been an absolute game changer and just the amount of information available at your fingertips and how it improves your situational awareness. I don't always fly with it, but I always feel better having one. And that takes us to number seven. Once you already have an iPad or some other tablet, having ADS-B in is an extremely helpful tool. Many airplanes are required to have ADS-B out right now, but not everybody has the in capability. And one of the best, most cost-effective versions I've found is the Stratix ADS-B box. 
Now you can buy the individual components themselves on Amazon and assemble it yourself, or you can buy it already put together. But with that, you get GPS, AHARS, ADSB, traffic, and weather all together. It can really take your situational awareness up to the next level, and I love flying with it. Next up at number eight, now if they have the tablet, they probably already have some kind of moving map GPS app. There's nothing saying you can't re-up their subscription for them. If they already have one app and they have some complaints about it, or whether it be price or function, I can personally recommend the Seattle Avionics FlyQ app. There again, like other things, I've, I've used a lot of the others over the years, but any more for price and capability, I've settled on FlyQ, and that's, that's what I have with me in my tablet every time. Subscriptions can be purchased monthly, the whole year, or even for the whole lifetime for both VFR and IFR. It's really up to your personal preference. Moving out of the tech world, number nine takes us to pilot shirts. Now what self-respecting pilot do you know that doesn't have some kind of aviation themed t-shirt, kind of like this beauty? This particular one came from the Design for Flight collection off of Amazon. They've got some pretty cool options and designs, and I can tell you I'm pretty happy with this guy right here. Now with that one, I will say that I did choose to order one size larger, and I think that does fit the bill for me, but I'm, I'm a pretty big guy too, so. If you're fairly average built, I'd say you could probably get the same size that they need. But if you're a little bit bigger, you might want to go up one. Now if the pilot you're watching this for is in the experimental aircraft, you can also go on the EAA homepage, and there's various shirts on there that show off their love for experimental aviation and even different types of airplanes. Kind of like this beauty I have for my Sonics. Number 10 is going to be something for my personal EDC. And that's this, a Streamlight Stylus Flashlight. Now I can honestly say this has literally saved my butt on multiple occasions. It's only a white light and it's fairly bright, so you probably wouldn't use this during flight. But everything else up to and after the flight, I won't leave home without this guy. Well, if you're still around, I've got a bonus one for you. You really can't go wrong with aviation-themed books. Many of us pilots love to read of others' adventures, get inspiration, and, and certainly learn something new from reading. I have a link to some of my favorites down below, but if the person you're shopping for doesn't have as much time to read, or they spend large amounts of time commuting, I'd like to recommend an Audible subscription. Just like the old books on tape, but digital this time around. So whether it be between flights or on a long cross country, they can listen to whatever book they desire. And I have a link to a free trial subscription down below where they can try it out without buying anything. 